my presentation is about uh, researches in uh, sorghum and the uh, influence of uh, fertilization on biomass production. <coughs> I come from Timisoara, from University of Agricultural Sciences uh, and Veterinary Medicine. Together with my colleagues from uh, Department of Plant Physiology, we work on this uh, research. First of all, I want to present some aspects from uh, our town, Timisoara, is uh, located in western part of uh, Romania. It's the second town after the capital, the Bucharest, uh, have uh, around 350,000 inhabitants, is uh, at 90 kilometers by the border from uh, for uh, Hungary and 60 kilometers uh, by the border uh, of Serbia. Here is the uh, cathedral, Orthodox cathedral. Is uh, uh, nicknamed or overnamed the town of roses because there are a lot of uh, green spaces with uh, roses and uh, have four state universities, uh, more over than 60,000 uh, students. There are four state universities, as I told, uh, University of Medicine and Pharmacy, University of uh, Western University of Timisoara, Polytechnica University, and the youngest is uh, University of Agricultural Sciences and uh, Veterinary Medicine. Uh, the King uh, Michael I was uh, uh, the name because uh, uh, he created this uh, university. Timisoara is the first town of Europe with stress illuminated, with uh, streets illuminated by electric lights. Sorry. Uh, this is our uh, campus of uh, university. We have a lot of spaces for education, research, uh, and uh, extension. We uh, have a lot of research in uh, biodiesel production. Here is a pilot station of biodiesel with uh, reactors. We have uh, the research activities in biogas, a pilot station for uh, biogas production also. And of course, uh, this research is uh, about the possibility to use the sorghum in uh, dry land areas from uh, Romania and uh, around the world for producing the biomass. As we say, say see here, uh, there are a lot of uh, areas which in the future will be affected by drought and uh, overheat temperatures. Also in Europe, uh, in uh, south and uh, southeast of Europe, the level of rainfall will be uh, year by year lowest. This is the motivation for what we try to find new uh, crops which uh, can be able to assure the uh, high level of biomass uh, in uh, these affected regions. In Romania, here is Romanian soil drug map. Uh, as we can see, we have a lot of soils which are affected by drought. Uh, most of uh, them and several affected in uh, eastern part of uh, Romania at the Black Sea and uh, also in east, south, east and western part. In this part is uh, Timisoara, Banat area is also affected by draw. Of course, the level of uh, rainfall as can observe we have less than 400 millimeters here in this area, between 400 and 600 millimeters in eastern part and some areas in uh, south part, and uh, a lot of uh, agricultural areas affected by, by the low precipitation in western part and south part with uh, the level of rainfalls between 500 and 600 millimeters. Of course, the data from uh, Timisoara Meteorological Station show us that uh, uh, 20 and 12 year was uh, uh, drought year. We have uh, here the 
multi-annual average, and here are the values of uh, pre precipitations. As we can see, in, uh, we have excess of precipitation in uh, April and also in uh, July, but uh, this uh, July was uh, over 100 millimeters in three days. And then in August, September, October, nothing, almost nothing. Uh, the mean of temperature is also very important to show that in June, July, and August, also in September, the medium temperature of day was more the, uh, over the, the normally with uh, four Celsius degree. This is, uh, is also uh, very much. Why sorghum? Of course, it's a new crop in Romania. It's not very new, but uh, three years ago, we are cultivated almost around uh, 12,000 uh, hectares. Uh, last year, uh, we are cultivated 29,000 hectares with uh, sorghum bicolor. Because this sorghum is well adapted to adverse climatic condition, also have a high efficient photosynthetic crop, uh, is a C4 plant, photosynthetic uh, type, which uh, manifests uh, highly tolerance to some biotic stress and also about uh, abiotic stresses, but uh, biotic drug salinity and uh, soil alkalinity. Of course, uh, it have one of the best rates of uh, carbon assimilation, 50 grams per uh, quadrat meter per day, and uh, also, compared to maize, requires one, one third of the water with uh, respect to sugarcane and 18-19% compared to maize. Also, is uh, easy to be genetic manipulated and uh, can be uh, relatively easy created new genotypes with uh, uh, good productivity and with uh, uh, good tolerance. Uh, we know that uh, in this moment, there are three types of sorghum. Uh, grain sorghum, use it mainly for food, feed, and starch. Sometimes for, uh, used for fuel. In the United States, 30-35% uh, uh, from uh, for uh, bioethanol is uh, produced by by grain sorghum. Sweet sorghum. Uh, with uh, juice rich in fermentable sugar, sucrose, glucose, and fructose, and also forage or high biomass uh, sorghum uh, for ethanol production. Of course, uh, in this slide, uh, we can uh, see that uh, C4 plant type uh, photosynthetic is uh, have an increase, increase of photosynthesis when uh, the light intensity is uh, increased, and also C4 plant is not affected so much like C3 plant uh, by the increase of temperature. Our uh, research, research uh, were made in uh, research uh, station of our university. Here we have the experimental fields and uh, the four genotypes. Jumbo, Sugar Grace, Sugar Grace 2, and F135ST. Jumbo is uh, uh, forage. Uh, sorghum uh, from Austria is not uh, well adapted to drought and heat conditions. Sugar Grace and Sugar Grace 2 are well adapted to drug because uh, they are created in Australia and F135 ST is created in, Rom in Romania, in the southern part of Romanian research station Fundula. Here we have the biological material, cultivar Jumbo, uh, Sugar Graze, Sugar Graze 2, and F135 ST. This is Jumbo, have a, a good foliar surfaces and a good foliage. Uh, this is F135, this is uh, sugar graze too, and uh, also sugar graze. Methods, of course, uh, we use the phenological BBC, 
BBC hash code for serials by RBSFS Ibagaygi Hext. Uh, we made determination and 14 uh, stage, 37, 67, and 89 stage types of analysis, plant cake, leaf area, plant weight, biomass production, dry biomass, seed production, soluble sugar content in stock. Uh, all of this was uh, measured by uh, standard methods. Modeling, experimental modeling, uh, the variance was uh, with uh, natural reserve because uh, one year before we uh, put a lot of fertilizers on uh, this field. Uh, also first variant with uh, nitrogen 150 kilos active compounds, phosphorus 62.5 and Kalium 62.5, and uh, another variant without uh, potassium. Of course, here we have uh, the level of, uh, of uh, fertilizers with the pH between 6 and 5.35, slightly acid soil, nitrogen 0.15, humus is well, uh, phosphorus and Kalium also well, height of plant are uh, different, of course, uh, depending by the level of fertilizers, but uh, sugar grays and uh, fundula uh, have, uh, has the best uh, height. Also compare in different phenophases, we can uh, see that uh, between 39 to uh, 69 is the is the best uh, period for uh, sorghum plants uh, height. Okay, thank you. Leaf area also compared in uh, the fertilizer variants and also uh, by the period and the stage of development. Uh, we can so the, see that uh, the maximum leaf area is between uh, between uh, growth stage and uh, flowering, flowering for uh, all of the genotypes. Also, we determine the sorghum plant weight. F osteotrize she change. F 135 ST is the the, the best uh, cultivar. In this case, biomass production also show that uh, fundula. 135 is uh, have the best uh, rate of uh, biomass accumulation, and uh, we determine the dry yield, weight yield in sorghum, also the uh, fundula uh, was the best. The sugar content uh, confirmed that there are two types of uh, sweet sorghum. First, two genotypes which are uh, uh, glucose type, which accumulate a uh, high level of glucose and uh, sucrose and fructose uh, less. And the second types is uh, the type with uh, sucrose and fructose accumulation and uh, uh, glucose uh, was uh, lower. The conclusions uh, were presented by the, by the, the presentation. Thank you very much. Sorry for, for, for the time.